Hey everyone, welcome back to the Declarative Academy, your go-to channel for mastering Salesforce the easy way. Today, we are diving into a super useful yet often overlooked feature in Salesforce campaigns. If you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. It's great to have you here. So what's on the agenda today? By the end of this video, you'll be able to describe what Salesforce campaigns are, explain why marketing teams use them, list three key things campaigns can help you do. Let's jump right in. Meet Jamie Ross, a Salesforce admin at All Seasons Outdoor Cooking, a growing business with big marketing plans. Jamie's got a challenge. Her marketing manager, Margaret Carlson, has been tracking campaigns using sticky notes and spreadsheets. Yep, you heard that right. With the company growing fast, this approach isn't scalable and lacks insight into campaign performance. Margaret needs a better way to manage her initiatives efficiently. That's where Salesforce campaigns come in. What is Salesforce campaigns? Great question. Think of a Salesforce campaign as a folder or container that holds all related marketing efforts. Whether it's an email blast, a webinar, an ad campaign, or a conference, a campaign record helps you group marketing assets together, track leads and contacts targeted by the campaign, measure responses and impact. For example, if Margaret launches a summer barbecue giveaway, she can track everything from email engagement to leads converted all in one place. But wait, there's more. You can even organize campaigns into a campaign hierarchy to see how different marketing efforts contribute to the bigger picture. More on that in a later module. All right, let's put this into action. Here's how Jamie creates her first campaign in Salesforce. From the Campaigns tab, click New. Enter a campaign name, let's say Summer Barbecue Giveaway. Choose a campaign type like Advertisement, Email, or Webinar. Select a status, for example, In Progress. Enter an estimate for budgeted cost and expected revenue. Add a description, click, save, boom, that's it. Now, Jamie can track performance, manage contacts, and measure ROI. Way better than sticky notes, right? All right, let's test what you've learned with a quick quiz. Drop your answers in the comments below and see if you get them right. Question one, what can you do with Salesforce campaigns? A, conduct purchase transactions. B group leads and contacts into categories C, track the status, details, and performance of marketing initiatives. D, convince people to vote for a candidate. The correct answer is C, campaigns help you track and manage marketing efforts effectively. Question two, what's one way to describe a Salesforce campaign? A, online ad purchases over time. B, a folder that helps organize marketing efforts. C, a series of emails, D, sparkling wine from France. And the answer is B, think of campaigns as organizers for your marketing activities. Let's quickly recap while you verify your quiz. Today, we covered what Salesforce campaigns are, why marketing teams use them, and how to create one in Salesforce. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more Salesforce tips, and let me know in the comments, how do you use campaigns in Salesforce? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Until next time, happy trailblazing.